Today, I'm answering a subscriber's question on how I do mental diets. So let's talk about that. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today I'm going to share with you how I do a mental diet and yeah, and a few tips on how to make sure that you're doing a mental diet correctly. And if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And also I will link Jerry's channel. He's like, yes, I have a channel down below. It's a look inside of my life with my Jerry. And yeah, it's a lot of fun actually. So, and the reason why I started is because I noticed that Law of Attraction YouTubers actually don't share their lives. And I'm always like, well, how's your life like, you know? So <laughs> me and Andrew thought we would do it. So definitely check it out. So mental diets and how they're actually done, how I actually do them. So how I do a mental diet is whenever I get clear on something. So what I do is I basically get clear on what I want. So I write down what I want. Okay. So let's say I want to get an email from somebody saying a certain thing. Okay. So I want an email from Jerry telling me that he wants to go out on Friday. Okay. You hear that Jerry email from you Friday asking me to go out. Okay. He's like, okay. So that's my end goal. Okay. Then I'll write down everything that in my mind. And I write this down because it helps to kind of get rid of the, the back and forth. Like it helps to sort it. So I write down everything that I, all my doubts that I have. So, you know, like Jerry, um, you know, maybe doesn't like me or doesn't want to, you know, to, to talk to me or has a girlfriend, right. And like another teddy bear, right. So I'll write all those down and then I'll cross them out one by one and write them into a positive intention. And you'll know when you do that, what sort of like your main doubt is, right. You know, so so let's just say, for example, mine is that Jerry doesn't like me. Okay. So that's the one thing when I think, oh, you know, I want Jerry to, to email me and ask me out that I'm like, oh, but he doesn't like me. Right. So no. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll create sort of like a little mantra for it. And I'll say, well, you know what? I intend for Jerry to email me and ask me out because I'm good enough. And he actually does like me and he does want to do that with me. Okay. So what that does is when you write out, you pre write out your intentions, when I do it, it helps me to, you know, to be clear on them and not really to come up with them on the spot because of all the static that's going on sort of in our minds, you know, at the time when we're, we're looking to create things, right? So then what I'll do, so now I've got my thing, you know, like what I want, I want Jerry to email me and I want him to ask me out and, um, you know, because he does like me, okay, and because I'm good enough. And then what I do is I go throughout my day. Okay. So I'll like wake up and I'll think, Oh, you know what? I want Jerry to email me. And then also I'll say my intention again, right? You know, I intend for Jerry to email me and ask me out because he does like me and I am good enough, you know? And then all of a sudden I'll like sit down and I'll look at my phone and I'll be like, Oh, Jerry hasn't emailed me yet. Then I'll be like, no, I intend for Jerry to email me. Of course he will, because he likes me and he's going to ask me out, you know, because I'm good enough. This is going to happen. I know my thoughts create, right? And then I'll go throughout my day a little bit more and maybe I'll notice again, like, oh, you know what? I'll check my email. No email from Jerry yet. Okay. So I'll be like, okay, no email from Jerry, but I'll be like, no, no, Jerry's going to email me. I know my thoughts create. Everyone is me pushed out. He's going to sit down, email me and ask me out. Right. And I will keep doing that every time I notice that it hasn't shown up yet. So when you notice something hasn't shown up yet, it's not that I didn't work. It's not that you failed. It's just that it's an opportunity to recreate your intention one more time. Okay. And the more that you have those moments where you notice and it hasn't shown up yet and you recreate create the intention, the more power you put behind it. Okay. So the other thing is, right, is, okay, let's say for instance, right, like, you know, Jerry does email me, but he's not asking me out in the email. <laughs> okay. You know, and that does happen once in a while, a partial manifestation. Okay. No problem. I'm thankful I get the email and then I start creating that, you know what? No, I'll, you know, chat with whatever's going on in the email. And then I will say, you know, like I'll keep creating the intention, you know, I intend for, for Jerry to ask me out. I intend for Jerry to ask me out. Okay. And then 
then that'll end up showing up. So that's where how I do a mental diet is I make sure that I'm clear on my intentions. I make sure that, you know, I sort of, you know, dump out all my doubts and change them into positive intentions. And that helps to sort of shift our, our thinking. So it's, it's basically revision when you do that. And then I make sure that every time when I notice the lack of it not showing up, that I actually create that intention in that moment rather than dwelling on and uh, questioning why it hasn't happened, why, what's going on, you know, why isn't this working? No, uh, 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 no creating stories, just straight back onto those intentions. So, you know, it's when we look at our reality, okay, and we say, well, we like that. Great, we can keep it. Do we like that? No, I don't like that. So then I acknowledge it and then I want to change it, right? So, you know, and, and that's the big thing, right, is just acknowledging if there's something showing up that you don't like and then creating the exact opposite intention of what you and 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 of of what's showing up and the opposite of the intention hopefully is what you want and going from there okay so remember when it hasn't shown up yet it's just another opportunity to create an intention and um you know it's exciting because trust me the more intentions you put out there the faster it's going to happen and you know the more power you put to it the faster it's going to be drawn to you okay anyways that's my video for today thank you for liking commenting sharing and subscribing you guys are all amazing and we'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.